The Commodore 64, now in a home family pack. A family pack containing the world's number one selling home computer. Spitting Image would have been an excellent license on its first run. But when Dormark originally tried to produce a game linked to it, Splitting Images, they didn't stop to buy the license and had to change the name to Split Personalities, a game which is also covered on the channel. Dormark were probably at pains to point out that whatever information you may have heard, to the contrary, Barry Manilow doesn't appear in their game, not in any shape, size or form. Nope. Spitting Image the computer game, to give it its full title, is a beat-em-up. Nothing more, nothing less. The idea is to take over the world. To do this, you must first pick a world leader and then find an adversary. Based on the central television series of the same name, which featured latex puppets of major public figures. The celebrities featured in this game were Supreme Leader of Iran, Ayatollah Ruhala Khomeini. USA President Ronald Reagan, who is dressed like a clown. South African President P.W. Botha. Polish Pope John Paul II. UK Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher. And USSR President Mikhail Gorbachev whose famous birthmark was made to look like the communist symbol. When you've selected your host and your adversary, you go into a one-on-one -on -one battle in true beat-em-up style. This is where the game falls flat. The graphics are great and it is fun for a short while, but it's very restricted. The problem is, you only have basic attacking moves. Normal, high and low punch and a kick but can also call for help twice from an aide, who will usually throw a projectile at your opponent. Also, each character has a special move, like Thatcher's headbutt or Hermini's beard whip. But if you strip away all the TV hype that surrounded it back in the day, all you are left with is a very average, at best, beat-em-up. Huh? Now, now, dear Jim, I am in hospital, you see, huh? and I wondered, could you do me a big favour? Huh? Please, 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 don't come and visit me, you sad man. If you manage to defeat all five opponents, you will meet the mysterious leader in a final showdown set in what appears to be a mud wrestling pit, in the dark. Here, you can only see the eyes of the characters, which was a bit random. I mainly played this game back in the day on two-player mode, and a lot of the time, the sessions were short-lived. It just didn't have enough depth to keep me gripped when I could have just as easily have loaded up Way of the Exploding Fist or IK Plus Up if I wanted a meteor contest. But for the novelty factor, it wasn't all that bad. What did you think of it? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to hit the like button. Another game of the spitting gimmick genre was Split Personalities. Although a completely different game, this was also published by Dormark and I'll link the video at the end of this. Thank you for watching this video guys, I really appreciate the support and if you haven't yet subscribed, please do consider joining me on this journey to revisit some classic Commodore titles with the hope to bring back some nostalgic memories. Thanks again and I hope to see you in the next video and until then, bye for now. In this sort of crisis one must be firm. It worked in the Falklands. It can work again now. Stay to the bus! Yeah! Oh, oh, you silly turd! Oh, my lord! Your highness! Are you